hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to add bootstrap in react applications let's check the steps for the implementation first of all we will create a react applications second we'll install the bootstrap package from the npm third we will create a normal component using bootstrap and at last we will test that output so without wasting time let's jump on the project here i have created this react applications using create react app and also remove all unnecessary packages from this one I, you can see this i have now only three pages one is index.js it's an entry page another one is index css and third one is app.js let's look into the official site of the bootstrap so to install the bootstrap we will refer the official site it's a get bootstrap.com here you can see its current version is 5.1.3 just simply click on get started they have uh, some quick start in this page now for installation purpose we need to click on the downloads so here we will use npm you can also use yarn but let's say to install the bootstrap we need to run this command npm install bootstrap i'm going to copy to clipboard and we'll add it to command line 2 Let's simply paste this one, click on npm install bootstrap. It will take some time and install the bootstrap for packages. Okay, so this one is completed. When you check the package.json where you will see the new package is installed bootstrap. It's a version 5.1.3. Okay, so now how to use this one here we can say import bootstrap slash this is nothing but our folders will get css and then after we can say bootstrap dot mean dot css okay similarly if you want to add the js file you can read it from the bootstrap itself like let's say it's a bootstrap this then after js and it's the same things like if you want to read the bootstrap bundle mean it's all up to you okay but here i'm going to use only css file for demonstration okay now this is our import part this one is imported i will suggest you to add these files or this import at the root level for now i'm adding in the app.js okay you can add into the index.cjs file so it will add to all other components okay now the thing is this css is added at last now we need to design the component so let me go back to the site use any one of the component and start designing up your page so here for demonstrations i will use this card component and we will see like how to add it in react application i'm going to add copy this one this is almost same just we need to paste it few more things are there first of all let me add this less at the end of the image file first things this is now added free code but still we need to update the code one is class right these all are the class that we need to change it to the class name okay so i'm just going to change it to the class name this is fine now the style is little bit different we cannot provide like this in react so let me use it in different way style i can say width and then after we need to provide like this this is good this one is altered text it's i can say it's pre or dummy image okay here i need to provide this image path so pixabay is a site where you will find the pre images let me choose any one of them just simply copy the image addresses from over here you can download it and add it in the react applications but for now let me add it directly the copy image address from there okay this all are as it is i'm not going to update anything so over here just simply save it and check the output okay looks like i can see the output is it's the same as the bootstrap component like this yes let's say if i want to apply few more classes i can add it 
here I can say class name say m5 is a margin class let me add it you can see it's applied you can say m3 whatever you want you can add all the class everything is possible with the push step classes so these all things you can use it in the applications react applications so this is the output of our applications let's look into the points so first of all we have created react applications then after install the bootstrap package from the npm and third things we have imported the uh, css from the bootstrap and the design the card component and last we tested the applications okay so i think this is very short video but this one is very useful so guys hope you enjoy this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe click on bell icon to get the notification thank you